You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and the beautiful fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers. These run from Monday, May 6th, all the way through Friday, May 17th. There is so much going on with the Sheila Carter resurrection as word spreads and people are appropriately horrified that the nine-toed menace is back to life. We're going to unpack all these for you, but if you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Let's jump right in. Monday, May 6th, Sheila Carter is recovering pretty well. For somebody who's been locked in a warehouse for two months, they've got her hydrated. She is back to herself. And I think it may be Monday when we're going to get that scene from the promo where Hope Logan stops by her dad's place. And she's going to be just completely shocked when not only is she told that Sheila's alive, but she sees Sheila there for herself. And of course, Sheila's playing very nice as she's so happy to see her. Hope is not happy to see Sheila. She is just stunned, horrified, like shocked to the point that she has to take a seat. And of course, Finn and Deacon are both thrilled. They definitely think she has earned this second chance. They believe everything she has said about her trying to protect Steffi and the kids and only time will tell how much of that is true. But Hope's not going to be pleased. Plus, she had just decided to let Deacon start seeing Beth again. And now this throws a wrench in the work. So all of that has to be addressed. Tuesday, May 7th, we've got Steffi Forrester increasingly worried about Finn. He's kind of dropped off the radar. She can't find him. He's not answering his phone. He's not answering his text. And Liam did remind her he's a very important doctor and he's probably, you know, saving lives. He's, well, and technically he was. He was helping save his biological mother's life because she was malnourished, dehydrated, stuff like that when they found her. And Liam Spencer is right there for Steffi as she is starting to wonder what's going on. But Liam reassures Steffi that Sheila doesn't have power over her anymore. And Steffi says, yeah, or any power over Finn anymore. Boy, is Steffi wrong. (laughs) Sheila's got all kinds of power over her son because now that she's back from the dead, he is so thrilled after almost losing her that, of course, he is warming right up. Wednesday, May 8th, 2024, Deacon is ready for next steps with Sheila. He drops to one knee and he re-proposes. Remember, he had proposed to her before, and then when she talked to him about when they were going to actually get married, then he, he backed right off, and he's like, I just can't, you know, everybody is very upset, yada, yada, yada. She was understandably disappointed. This time, though, he is not going to let another moment slip by. He wants to put a ring on it. I, you know, they're not going to waste time. Thursday, May 9th, 2024, Finn comes back around to see Steffi. And I think they are at the Malibu Beach House when he tells her they have a a nice where have you been, a hug, a kiss, everything's great until he drops the bombshell on Steffi that rocks her world. He is so thrilled that Sheila is alive. And of course, his wife is totally horror struck. She can't believe it. It's like her nightmare just walked back out of the grave. Plus, Steffi now has to contend with the fact that she killed a perfect stranger to her. Granted, that woman was in her house being threatening, but it is still kind of shocking. So Steffi, of course, is going to want to deny the truth, and she's not going to want to hear any of this, and Finn is going to have to make her see that he is telling her the truth, and according to scenes in the promo, it's very tense. Friday, May 10th, 2024, we've got Finn's real mom, the mom who raised him, who loved him, who made him the man he is today, Lee Finnegan. She is back and the doctor faces off with her worst enemy. So I don't know if Steffi calls her or how exactly she gets the word, but she makes a beeline for Sheila. I'm sure that she's going to let her know that Sheila should have stayed dead, that she hates her, that she doesn't want her any anywhere near her son. But of course, Sheila is feeling very confident in her relationship with Finn. So, you know, this is going to be interesting because Sheila 
actually needs to play nice with her, but I don't know if she can. All right. Then we have the second week, May 13th through 17th. So with Deacon reproposing on Wednesday of week one of these two weeks, I don't think they're going to waste a lot of time. I think we're going to see Deacon and Sheila getting hitched maybe, maybe before the end of May sweeps. And I think sweeps wraps up the 22nd, which is, I think, Wednesday of the week following the one I'm about to tell you about. So I think they're going to fast track this wedding. We'll see. Meanwhile, Sheila has to play nice with all of her haters in order to seal this whole redemption arc that B&B has given her and the showdown with Lee could carry over into Monday, depending on what time it kicks off on Friday's episode. If it's late in the episode, Steffi is furious. She is upset. She is stressed out. She wants to deny the ugly truth, but she is going to see Sheila for herself and confirm that it is true. Steffi wants Sheila out of their lives again. I don't think she's going to believe Sheila's tale about sugar and protecting her and the kids. I think she is going to doubt all of it. Hope continues to be gobsmacked. She has to decide how to handle her dad's re-engagement on top of Sheila's resurrection. And since Hope showed up to the funeral, I think he is going to hope she'll show up to the wedding. I can't see her willingly do that. We'll see. Word spreads about Sheila's survival to all the other foresters. And of course, they are going to be completely distraught to hear that Sheila is alive and they're going to be raising heck about it but what can you do she's alive they're just gonna have to deal with it but they're gonna they're gonna be angry upset stressed out Liam Spencer sees a huge opportunity because of Sheila's return and this whole fracturing of Sen's marriage that's gonna come not simply because Sheila is back to life but because Sheila is back to life and when Steffi tells Finn he can't see his biological mother, I don't think he is going to agree to that this time. I think he is going to respectfully decline because he sees Sheila as having saved Kelly from drowning and now having saved Steffi's life. And to him, this kind of takes care of the whole shooting thing. I think it's one of those situations. He sees it as she tried to take Steffi's life, then she saved Steffi's life. So slate's clean. I don't think Steffi's going to see it that way. And Liam, my goodness, he is going to be playing the sympathy card, but you know in the back of his mind is he's going to yeah. And Finn and Deacon are absolutely, absolutely united in their joy about Sheila's survival. But I think it's going to be the two of them against the world when it comes down to it. Those are all of our two week spoilers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop your comments on what you are excited to see and be sure and come back soon. We're here talking Bald and the Beautiful seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 